God be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. O God be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. O God be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angel spirits his ministers of flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment, the water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled, at the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys into the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set them down that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild masses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers, and the earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of, out of the earth. And wine to make it glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthens the man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted. Where the birds make their nests, and as for the storks, the fir trees are their house. The, 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 the high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for the seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night. Wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth, the young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. The sun arises, they gather themselves together, and lay down into the den. Man goeth forth into the work, and his labor into the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works and wisdom, how hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches, so is the great and wild sea, wherein all things creeping and innumerable, more small and great beasts. There go the ships, there is the Leviathan, who hath made to play therein. There wait all unto thee. Thou that makest give them their meat in due season, thou that, that thou doest them they gather. Thou openest thine hand, and thou, thou art filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, thou art troubled, thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever, the Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth, and it trembles, he touches the hills, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live, I will sing Praise to my God while I have my being. My meditations of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Blessed are the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. The sun knoweth it's going down. Thou makest darkness and it is light. O Lord, how manifold are thy works and wisdom that thou hast made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O God, O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good and state of the holy churches of God in the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who in faith reverence and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Anthony, the honorable priesthood, the diaconate of Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Ulo 
Moses, and Archbishop Yohanan, for their quick release from captivity and safe return. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and faithful dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For doubtful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our lives unto Christ our God. before him, I shall be for him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, 
Thou that fruit knew is my path. Oh, wait, wherein I walked, have they secretly laid a snare for me? I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no one that would know me. Refuge failed me, no man cared for my soul. I cried out unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. To my cry, for I have brought very low. Deliver me from persecutors, for they are stronger than I. My soul at a prison that I may praise thy name. We worship untiring me, thy quickening cross, O Christ God, and glorify thy third day resurrection, for by it, O Almighty. Thou hast renewed the corrupt nature of mankind, and made way to us the ascent to heaven. For thou alone art good, and the lover of mankind. The righteous shall wait for me, thou recompense me, when thou wast willingly nailed upon the cross, O Savior. Thou didst solve the problem caused by the tree of sin. And when thou didst descend into hell, thou didst break the bonds of death, since thou art a almighty God. Wherefore we worship thy resurrection from the dead, shouting with joy, O almighty Lord, glory to thee. Out of the depths of I cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Thou didst demolish by thy death, O Lord, the gates of Hades. Thou didst dissolve the realm of death, and didst free the human race from corruption, granting the world life and incorruptibility and a great mercy. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Come, ye nations, let us praise the third day, resurrection of the Savior, by which we were delivered from the unbreakable bonds of Hades, and by which we all received life and incorruption, crying, O Lord, Thou who was crucified, buried, and who didst rise, save us by thy resurrection, O thou only lover of mankind. If thou wilt watch its mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. The angels and men, O Savior, praise the third day resurrection through which the ends of the universe have been lighted, and by which thou hast redeemed from the bondage to the enemy, us who cry, saying, O omnipotent giver of life, save us by thy resurrection, O only lover of mankind. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. Thou hast demolished the brazen gates, O Christ God, and hast shattered the bars that hath raised the fallen human race, and made it strong, and stand upright. Wherefore do we shout to thee in unison, O thou art rising from the dead, O Lord, Glory to thee. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, watch let Israel trust in the Lord. The birth from thy Father, O Lord, is eternal and timeless, and thy incarnation from the Virgin is inexplicable and ineffable. And thy descent into Hades is awesome, inspiring to Satan and his angels. For thou didst trample down death and didst rise on the third day, granting mankind incorruptibility and great mercy.
his mercy and with him is abundant redemption and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Let us not pray, brethren, like the Pharisee, for he who exalted himself hath been abased. Wherefore, let us humble ourselves before God, and by means of fasting, with the voice of the publican, saying, God forgive us sinners. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the the truth of the Lord. And in the Praise the Lord. All ye nations. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
Possessor of rich and great mercy. Temple, 
safe, O Lord, and keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, keep to thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. And thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, but despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belong the worship, to thee belong the praise, to thee belong the glory, from the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless to the task of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. May be the faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies to the task of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Lord, forgiveness of our sins and transgressions to the task of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Lord, good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, to the task of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance, to the task of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. The remaining to our lives, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Lord, in remembrance, our own holy and accurate and most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Lord, a good God, and love us mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Our heads unto the Lord. To thee, O Lord. Lord our God, who didst bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servant and thy inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, who yet lovest mankind, and thy servants bow their heads, and submissively incline their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts, and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the mind of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. When thou wast lifted up upon the cross, O Lord, thou didst expunge our ancestral curse. And when thou didst descend to Hades, thou didst free those who were bound from eternity, granting the human race incorruptibility. Wherefore, we offer praise, glorifying thy third day resurrection. The Lord is king and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girdled with strength. O thou who art al al almighty, when thou wast fastened upon a tree, thou didst shake in the whole world. And when thou wast laid in the grave, thou didst raise those who lay in the grave, granting mankind life and incorruptibility. Wherefore we offer praise, glorify thy third day resurrection. For he hath established the world, so that it shall never be moved. The law transgressing people, O Christ, delivered thee to Pilate, who condemned thee to crucifixion. Thus the ingrate appeared before his benefactor. But thou sufferest burial willingly, and didst rise on the third day by thine own power. For thou art God, granting us endless and great mercy. Holiness befits the house, O Lord, forevermore. Verily the woman reached the tomb, seeking thee with tears. And when they found thee not there, they shouted and wailed, saying, Woe to us, o, o our Savior, King of all, who hast thou stolen? And, that, and what place containeth thy life-bearing body? And an angel answered them, saying, Weep not. 
but not but go preach the, that the Lord hath risen, granting to joy, for he alone is compassionate. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. My eyes have been weighed down because of my iniquities. I am unable to gaze at the horizon of heaven, but thou, O Savior, accept me repentant as the Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and feel our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Having heard the joyful message of the resurrection from the angel, the women disciples of the Lord cast from them their parental condemnation and proudly broke the news to the disciples, saying, Death hath its spoil. 
Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mystery which was hidden from everlasting and was unknown of the ages, both Theotokos, was revealed through thee to those who dwell upon earth, in that God, having become incarnate in unconfused union of his own goodwill, accepted the cross for our sake, whereby he raised again the first created and hath saved our souls from death. It was me and the chanter and the altar boy. And after the gospel, I went inside and I cried. 
I was so hard for those things. You guys go for it. I want you to remember what happened last year. But this year's different. Now, we still have the precautions and everything. COVID's still a thing. We're still dealing with it. But it's different. It's not as bad. You know, we, we have uh, you know, more numbers. People are getting vaccinated. We have the social distancing, the mask, all this stuff in place to keep us as safe as possible. And now we get to celebrate Lent together this year. We get to be here. We get to be here on Passover. We get to be here all through Holy Week. And it all began tonight. Tonight is the thing that opened the door to us. So we have this journey in front of us now where the faith that was so severely tested over this last year, now it's going to be rekindled. Now, for many of us, it's like, you know, when you light like a fire and like a charcoal grill and it, you, know, you wait a few hours and the coals die down and there's just a few sparks left. That's kind of what it is like for us now. But now Lent is going to rekindle that fire. And it's going to start slowly tonight. It's going to continue over the next three weeks of preparation. It's going to get bigger as we enter into the Lent proper. And then we have six weeks of that. And then on Pascha, we're going to see that fire that Father Michael is going to bring out from the altar. I'm going to give it to your candles. And when you light your candles that night, I want you to remember that you are here tonight or watching us tonight. When that door was open, I want you to remember it's that faith that thing has been dying out, and now it's being rekindled. It's being lit in a way that's going to last forever. This pasta, this lunch is going to be the most glorious one I think many of us can remember in a long time. So don't forget where we came from, what we've been through. I will never take this season for granted in my life ever again after this past year, and I hope that nobody else does as well. I'm looking forward to celebrating with all of you. I'm glad that you're here tonight as we open the doors of that season. May God grant us a blessed preparation for Lent, a spiritually profitable great Lent, and the most joyous parts that any of us can ever remember. May God bless you in the name of Christ. Amen. God bless you.